You're listening to Together NJ, the podcast that's here to bring some joy into your day. Us resilient New Jersey folks keep finding ways to make things better for friends, neighbors, and even strangers during this time of crisis. NJ.com journalists are here to tell those stories of showing love in big and small ways. It's not easy being the class of 2020. This is a group of students who lost the best part of their senior year, and where they go next amidst a pandemic is anyone's guess. But today's story is about one local high school that found a way to give their students a truly proper send-off despite the circumstances. I'm Jessica Remo, a reporter on the Features team, and I'm here with local news editor Jessica Mazzola. Welcome back, Jess. Happy to be back. And now, Jess, you and I are about the same age, so it's been a while since our graduation. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> but when we were local reporters, we would get sent out every single June to graduations, plural. And we always just loved to cover them, didn't we, Jess? Oh, yeah. You know what was always like the best part? It was usually the hottest day of the summer and <laughs> yeah. kiddos were out. We were carrying a bunch of stuff, our cameras, our tripods and, you know, all the hours of the name reading. It was just like a perfect storm. Totally, totally. <laughs> but what's funny is I always found that after dragging my feet initially, I would wind up emotional. Like <laughs> I'm an easy crier, <laughs> but I just get swept up in all of it. The speeches, the hope. The hat toss, the pomp and circumstance. Graduations are actually a great pick-me-up if you're feeling down. (laughs) It is true. I mean, we're very jaded now, but you forget how giant a milestone graduation is until, of course, we hit a year like this one without them. There was no way that Mercer High School was letting their class of 2020 go off into the world without a real graduation full of heart and hope and parents cheering their heads off. (laughs) I I love it. I love when the parents lose it. That's the best part. Um, And there is awesome video that, yes, did make me tear up to accompany this story. So do go check it out, listeners. And if it makes you sob, too, don't say I didn't warn you. Uh, But for now, Jess, tell us the story of this super creative and highly adorable graduation. It's no surprise that the coronavirus has changed a lot of our rituals. Celebrations, milestones, gatherings, and ceremonies that we once took for granted are now at best altered and at worst canceled altogether. We all understand the health risks, but... Four months into the coronavirus pandemic, most of us have experienced even a little disappointment about missing something that we were looking forward to. A wedding, a prom, a birthday party, a big game, the list of stuff goes on and on. For students and staff members at Mercer High School, which is part of the Mercer County Special Services School District and serves students ages 14 to 21 with a variety of needs, missing out on graduation would have been just too hard. You see, most students, their educators told us, start in the district when they're around three years old. They form really close bonds with their teachers and support staff members through all of their years of schooling. It would be an understatement to say that all would be disappointed at the thought of not having a graduation ceremony, a final chance to celebrate the kids' growth and achievements, and a last time to say goodbye. That's why, as soon as Governor Phil Murphy signed an executive order allowing outdoor graduations, a committee of seven staff members got together to create an altered ceremony that met the standards for social distancing while acknowledging the students and simultaneously celebrating with their families and the school staff. What they ended up with was part car parade, part graduation. The grads were in their cars with their families and guided through the school grounds, only stopping and getting out of their cars at three stations, one to receive their diploma, one to get a gift bag that included handwritten cards from staff, and the last one, a family photo opportunity. The excitement was palpable as loved ones and teachers cheered, rang bells, shook pom-poms, and snapped photos to congratulate the students and commemorate the event. We're happy to be here. On this beautiful afternoon, beautiful July afternoon, to celebrate all of our 2020 graduates from Mercer High School. They've endured quite a bit, and we're here to give them the proper send-off. That's Principal Brian Kozakowski on the mic. 
As each student's car approached, Kozakowski read remarks over the PA system prepared by their teachers that were individually tailored to each student. Smiles were from ear to ear as the students listened to the glowing accounts of their time at the school and the impacts they made to their community. Luis, you have grown so much this past year. Your attention to details and your willingness to help your fellow classmates, especially in your vocational classes, has been so nice to see. You truly let your personality shine and let those around you see your humorous side. You have developed into a young man who is very determined. I wish you luck and success in the future. We will miss you at Mercer High School. The event went off without a hitch, which administrators attributed to dedicated staff members and the willingness from students and families to be flexible with this atypical ceremony. And while teachers said they hope this will be the first and last time they have to alter graduation this much, everyone was overjoyed that the kids got the special send-off they deserved. If you want in on more good news, you can check out nj.com slash togethernj. And please consider supporting our local journalism with a voluntary subscription by heading to nj.com slash supporter to sign up today. I'm Jess Mazzola. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>